In today's video, we're looking at a very, very interesting quadcopter. It's actually a brushless micro whoop, and it is the most durable brushless micro whoop I have ever, ever tested and or flown. Yeah, it's really strong and it flies really good. So let's get started. So the sponsor of today's video is Skillshare. And this is really great timing because this will get you your introduction into Python for my upcoming videos where I'll be teaching you how to create your own AI or train your own AI and set up the environments in order to get cracking at it. Now you will need some basic Python in order to get going, creating your reward systems once I start the tutorial. And not only that, the first 1000 signups that use the links below will get a free premium membership. And that will open you to so many Many other classes you have so many things to go through we have web development applied control systems for engineering speed controllers so many crazy cool things social media stuff photography things that i'm just barely scratching the surface so i've had to repeat this video about five times already because i just kept saying how strong this thing is so i just want to get that out of the way really quickly this thing is by far one of the most durable micro brushless quadcopters i have ever flown now durability without performance means absolutely nothing however this thing performs absolutely insane it's rocking 1103 8000 kv motors which you could run 2s and as well as 3s now on 3s they're standing it flies for five minutes but i didn't get that i only got around four minutes on a 2s i got three minutes which is plenty enough and it's not a dead flyer now, you do not even have to fight this when you're flying, which is really good. So let's talk about some of the accessories here because there isn't that many. Just get them out of the way real quickly. Uh, we get another set of Gemfan 1636 uh, quad blade propellers, um, some zip ties, an extra battery strap, and a proper mover. That's about it for accessories. It doesn't come with a receiver as far as I know, but just double check the links down below. And uh, the receiver, you could basically place it yourself. Uh, they have the wires set up for you for an S-Bus connection because this is an F4. And uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. So once you do set up your receiver here, let's actually remove the receiver. You see, we have an extra nice pocket of space right here. And that pocket of space could be used to install your receiver in there. And also the battery strap will, there's still enough room for your battery strap to go under it and wrap around your battery. Now, usually with micros when you crash or whoops when you crash, the battery tends to fall out quite often. However, here I have never had the battery come out. Well, because it's a really proper connection. You have an anti-slip and a proper battery strap. Uh, there wasn't once where I needed to get up off the couch or the chair in order to go get this thing. I just thrashed it in, flip over after death, till I got it free and just brought it back. And I knew nothing was going to be hanging while it's flying or nothing is going to be in its motors because the overall build quality and construction and engineering is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, I can't explain it enough. I mean, I, I cannot express it enough of how much I would recommend this thing. Now, there is a small problem with all of this. If you crash pretty quickly into something like a... I don't know, like a TV screen or something, you're going to break the TV. You're not going to break the quadcopter. So whatever you're crashing to, you have a higher probability of crashing that thing other than the quadcopter itself. Possibly a window. You probably crack the window before you break this thing. It's really that strong. Like, I just can't explain it enough. So let's push that to the side. So let's talk a bit more about the specs here. It's using a Turbo Cadex EOS 2 for the camera, which I've thought was totally fine. Latency felt very good as well because I was I was flying other micros at the same time. So the latency on this camera is really great. For ESCs, it's using 12 amp ESCs. Now that's, that's okay. I mean, I would probably put 15 amp ESCs, but it probably does have a burst. Uh, so it's using 12 amp built-in ESCs into this all-in-one board. I actually don't even know what board they're using inside. And for motors, again, they're 1103 8000 kV. And if you needed to replace them, you could easily replace them with a connector, three screws, you're done, which is really nice here. All right, so now let's talk performance here. Now for what it is, I would actually give it a 10 out of 10 in terms of speed, power, and just stopping power. I mean, like this thing could just stop in midair wherever it needs to. Now, all I can tell you is I can't wait to see more products from this company right here because you know, for 120 bucks to get something like this is is unheard of, really. Usually something this proper and would cost around 150 plus. You know, usually all the shitty ones cost around 100 bucks or just the OK ones. Some of the shittier ones cost around 90. But this thing is definitely worth every single penny that you would probably pay for. You have XT30. We have low ESR capacitor. It is been done proper. And I really don't have much else to say other than I highly recommend it. It flies great. It's powerful. It's durable. And its price is 
reasonable, very reasonable. It's actually cheaper than what I expect it to be. And this thing is definitely recommended in my book, especially if you're looking one for this winter, which uh, I'll be flying quite often here indoors. Um, the only thing I would see myself getting in terms of whoop format is probably a Nanohawk, like a 1S whoop and something like this, a brushless whoop or above 1S brushless whoop, if I should clear that up. Uh, this would be it right here. I, I don't think I'd want anything else um, because it just, you know, I'm going to crash the living crap out of it, and I know it's going to constantly just handle itself properly. So, yeah, that's it, guys. That's all I have to say. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have this and let everybody else know who has this and tell them, explain to them how durable this thing is and how this thing flies. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.